Hi guys, it's Robert. So today I have a great bath and body DIY project for you. I wanna show you how you can make your own all natural shaving cream. And if you like this idea and you wanna see more, I invite you to subscribe to my own channel by following the link in the video description below. And be sure to check out my bath and body DIY playlist. Now I love this project because it's customizable for both men and women. The basic recipe is identical, you simply tailor it with your choice of fragrance. The first two ingredients we're going to combine in a microwave safe bowl. We're going to start with shea butter, which comes from the shea tree in Africa, and it's an amazing moisturizer. To that, we're going to add coconut oil. Now you want to make certain that it's a virgin coconut oil, it comes in a solid format, and it's sold in jars in your grocery store. Place these two ingredients in the microwave on high for 30 seconds. Then we'll take it out and stir. I'm stirring using a wooden popsicle stick just to make cleanup a little bit easier. Then place it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds, take it out and stir again. If there are any solids remaining at this point, you can place it back in for 10 second intervals. We're going to add in some sweet almond oil and stir. Now we're going to add in our fragrance and you've got lots of options at this point. You can put in a couple of drops of an essential oil like peppermint or tea tree. Just use these sparingly because many skin types are sensitive to them. You always wanna try out your finished shaving cream on a small area before applying it to your entire face or legs. I'm creating this batch for myself and I'm going to use a fragrance oil. It's somewhat different than an essential oil in that it is synthetic, but it comes in a wider range of scents. I'm going to be using a tobacco and bay leaf scent that's a little bit smoky and a little bit woodsy. I'm adding in 10 drops so it's subtle and not too overpowering. When all of your ingredients are stirred together, we're going to place it in the refrigerator and allow it to cool until it becomes a solid. Once your mixture has solidified, take it out and place it on the counter for 15 minutes. And then we're going to transfer it to the bowl of an electric mixer. Whisk it on high until the mixture is light and fluffy. And then your shaving cream is ready to use, we just need to transfer it to a storage container. I found these great plastic bale jars, and I love them because I know I'm going to be using this in the bathroom, and I don't want to run the risk of dropping and shattering a glass container. I'll include links and sources in the video description below. A couple things about this shaving cream. We didn't add in any soap, which is great because it won't dry out your skin, but it also won't lather like a traditional shaving cream. It's much more like a lotion that creates a protective barrier between your skin and the razor. When you're finished, you can wipe away the oils with a warm, damp cloth, or you can leave them to act as a natural conditioner, leaving your skin smooth and soft. I do hope you'll give this project a try experimenting with different fragrances. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comment section below. Thank you as always for watching, and please join me next time for another fun DIY project.